this ring light better make me look more attractive. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel um i think we are now back to regular videos hopefully yesterday i was just kind of in a funk and didn't feel like putting a lot of effort into a video you know some days it's like the simplest task just feels impossible to do that was kind of how it was for me yesterday but i really wanted to announce the contest winner or the giveaway winner i should say and i hadn't posted for two days so i was like okay like that's long enough on monday i was just like i can't do a video and then on Tuesday I was just like man I need to do one and I kind of have one ready but it's really difficult to do but I just need to get it out there and honestly a big part of it is so Sunday like I said we had the calves get out and that was extremely stressful and the weather has been really cold and dreary lately so that doesn't help me and the Weather definitely affects my mood. I wish that it didn't, especially in North Dakota because it's winter for like nine months out of the year, it feels like. So that can't really put me in a funk for sure. But however, all that being said, I'm jumping back into the week now and back into videos and this is going to be somewhat like of a simple video for you, but I really, really, really enjoy doing these Amazon ones because A, it gives me a reason to be on Amazon and two, I see all the things that I want to spend my money on but don't have money for. So that's fun. Like the title of this video says, this is a nice fun little list of things that you can get your significant other. These are more aimed at women, however, they could be for dudes too, I guess. Depends on the dude, I suppose. So first, let's start off with like things that maybe you should try to steer away from. For, for women, I'm saying. This is for women. You know, those little like plushy kind of stuffed animals that they have around Valentine's Day? They're really cute and they are sweet. However, women don't know what to do with them after Valentine's Day. Like, you don't wanna get rid of them because you don't wanna hurt your significant other's feelings, but also it's kind of like, what do you do with it? You know, if that makes sense. So I would steer clear of those. There's some really corny gifts that like, okay, so there's these little glass roses that you can find on Amazon. Things like that, unless you know that your significant other is into them, I would steer clear of that. I mean, you got the classics, flowers, chocolates, like candies, those are always good because I don't know of many women that aren't into flowers. So that's always just kind of a safe bet. A card, women love getting cards. So honestly, if you just write your feelings down into a card, you'll get major brownie points for that. And then there's practical gifts. Don't get your woman a practical gift unless you know that she will like it for Valentine's Day. Because sometimes for Valentine's Day, practical gifts can just sort of be like, oh, thanks, this wasn't really a sweet gift, but you know, thank you for, thank you, I mean, for getting me something. Most of the time for Valentine's Day, women want something that you put a lot of thought into, that's really sweet, where she can sort of gauge how you feel about her, like how much you love her. Not that gifts represent how much you love somebody. Well, not for everybody, but for some people, yeah. But like, a nice card that says exactly how you feel about her in it is great. Um, getting her gifts that pertain to her means that you're listening to her and that you you think about her and you remember the things that she said to you. So if it's a practical gift that she had mentioned before and you know that she's not gonna think that the practical gift was just like, oh wow, that's not sweet at all, definitely get it. If that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, but here are about seven items on Amazon that you can find that are pretty decent. So right after I said don't get her a plushie, we're gonna jump right in with a little reversible octopus plushie. Um, these are really a hot item right now. I know with women my age tend to really like them. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I know some girls are. And oh, the first bullet point says as seen on TikTok. So if you have a woman that's really into to TikTok, she'll probably get it. So this is a good kind of fun gift. There's all sorts of colors, patterns, faces, like moods on it and whatever. So this is kind of a fun idea, I think. Next is a tri-fold vanity makeup mirror. If your woman is really into makeup, this is a good one. The light on it makes doing your makeup a lot easier 
And if you look attractive in the lighting while you're doing your makeup, you're gonna feel a lot better about yourself. Like for me personally, I close my shade in the morning while I do my makeup and I just rely on the light in my room because the light coming in from my window casts a really ugly shadow across my face and makes me feel extremely ugly and insecure about myself. So I, oh, I close it every single morning when I do my makeup, first thing I do is close my shade. So that way when I'm doing my makeup, I don't feel bad about myself. And this is one of those gifts that's practical, but you could like put in a really cute card about how beautiful she is and that sort of a thing. And again, if you know that she enjoys doing her makeup and is really into it, you paid attention to her. You got her something that's practical, but really sweet because you listened. Don't get her like a screwdriver set or something, unless she says, that that's something that she wants and you know that she won't misconstrue your that practical gift as like, oh, you didn't put much thought into this. Don't do something like that. Next we have, okay, is this cute little bracelet with a message inside and you can pick from a whole list of like quotes and stuff. So it could be for like a best friend. I don't know if you get like your best friend something for Valentine's Day, but there's a bunch of quotes and some of them are fairly specific, but I like the uh, you are an amazing woman. I thought that this one said you are my person, but I'm not totally sure. But it's a very cute little simple bracelet, but on the inside it has a really sweet message, which is cool. Um, it's pretty fashionable because it's just a plain band. It's just a cuff, uh, so it's an adjustable size. I actually have one of these. My sister-in-law gave it to me and my sister and I wore it for the longest time. So this is a cute one. I think it's really simple, kind of understated, but could be really something that's like really sentiment. Okay, we're gonna pound through these like really fast. Okay, so the electric candle lighter, a more practical gift, but if you get a candle with it, then it becomes a little bit sweeter. Kind of set the ambiance for the room, you know, make it very romantic and whatnot. So, um, that would be kind of cool. And if you know that your woman loves lighting candles, like I do, uh, she'll really appreciate this gift. So it'll be practical and sentimental. So not all practical gifts are bad gifts, but make sure that you know your woman, you know? Uh, I think that, yeah, like I said, this would be really cute with a candle. Yeah, that's basically it, but I do like this one and this I also saw on TikTok as well. Okay, so these rose flower bears, um, I think that the trend kind of started with the Kardashians because they would get like these little containers filled with flowers. It kind of looked like a hat box, just filled with flowers, like really packed in there tightly. And they're really cute. And then like they started doing more elaborate uh, floral arrangements. And I think that's kind of where these stemmed from. I think they're really cute. They're only $24, which isn't bad considering they're roses. I think that the roses are... Oh, okay, so, so these flowers are actually soap from what I understand, which is kind of cool because they'll never die and it'll make your room smell really good. So that could be cool. Personally, I wouldn't mind one of these. I think they're kind of cool. Yeah, not a ton to say about this. I think it's really cute and kind of different. It's flowers, but not your traditional flowers. So it's kind of stepping outside of the box just a little bit. But it is a little bit more on the pricey side depending on how much you do for Valentine's Day. Some people go all out, some people keep it a little bit more simple, so. This one I absolutely love and I would die if a guy did it for me. It's What I Love About You by Me, a uh, little book, and it's got pages filled with different little writing prompts like you deserve the blank award, you have the greatest taste in blank, I love how you blank my blank, um, so that could be a little bit dirty. I think it's really cute and it would be very, very thoughtful and like, Again, this would kind of show that you pay attention, how much you love her, how much she means to you, like specific things that you like about her and love about her. Girls go absolutely nuts for that kind of stuff. It is really mushy and I will admit that this is something that I would probably melt over. There's also one that's like, why you're so awesome, why I miss you, why you make me smile. Oh, so there's a whole bunch of them. Aww. What I love about us by me. You could get one of these for like a whole year almost of like special occasions and stuff. That's a really great idea. Just keep buying her these books. She'll absolutely cherish it. Especially because you have to fill them in. That's, I like that one, that's fun. Okay, so these again, I saw on TikTok, they're extremely trendy. Personal acrylic 
song little plaque. It's the layout of Spotify and you can put in your own picture and I think you can choose the song also. So like for me what would be really cool is like so if I was married and it was a picture from our wedding day and then this like first dance song, that would be incredible. I I mean that would actually be amazing. What would be amazing if I got married. I think that this is my absolute fav favorite one of all time and it has a little Spotify thing that you can scan and then the song will start playing. This plus the lighter plus a candle and then you start playing the song that's on the little plaque. Ugh. That it's all, it's a very simple idea, but it would also be extremely effective. Yeah, so, okay, so if anyone needs, you know, a plan for the, for the, for the Valentine's evening, you get the lighter and the candle, you light the candle, and then you give her the plaque, and then you scan the song, and then the song starts playing, and then you have dinner. I think I just created, like, the most perfect Valentine's day, or night, for myself. That's what I would want. But I'm single this year, so that's not different than any other year, but, you know, whatever. So, there's a free idea for you guys to do. Alright, that's all I've got for you. I hope that this kind of helped. Over 90% of my subscribers are men, so this is all for you guys. I hope that this improves your Valentine's Day, or gives you some ideas in case you are struggling to find something for your special somebody. Alright, well, cool. Um, all the links are down below to all of these things. That's pretty much it. Go buy some stuff, you guys. Valentine's Day is 11 days away, so I'd get to ordering things soon if I was you. I hope that this list of items helped you, helped give you some ideas, maybe. Yeah, all right. I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, hit that big red subscribe button, man. All right, bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.